This sound file contains the spoken version of a Wikipedia article on the 2012 Buenos Aires rail disaster. It is recorded by user S underscore Whistler, and the material is recorded on the 29th of February 2012. The 2012 Buenos Aires rail disaster from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. On the 22nd of February 2012, a train crashed at once station in the Balvenera Barrio of Buenos Aires, Argentina. There were about a thousand passengers on board the crowded eight-carriage train, which hit the buffers when it failed to stop, crushing the motor carriage and the following two carriages, after approaching the station too quickly, reportedly due to a brake failure. Fifty-one people were killed and more than seven hundred were injured. The dead and seriously injured were in the first two carriages, which were packed with people who had moved to the front of the train to be near the station exit on arrival. The Sarmiento line, on which the incident occurred, is operated by Trenes de Buenos Aires. It was the second fatal accident on the line within six months, following the 2011 Floors Rail crash, and the third deadliest train accident in Argentina's history after the Benavides rail disaster in 1970, which left 142 dead and 368 injured, and the Estrella de Notre train accident in 1978, which left 55 dead and an unknown number injured. Incident Train number 16 was operating on the Sarmiento Line Marina, once local service 3772, on the morning rush hour of the first working day after carnival holidays. The train was reported to be travelling too fast at about 51 kilometres per hour, 31 miles per hour, on entry into the station. It failed to stop before the end of the track at once station, and at 8.33 it crashed into the buffer stops at a speed of 26 kilometres per hour, 16 miles per hour. The motor carriage and the following two carriages were crushed. The second carriage was telescoped 7 metres, 23 feet, into the first. Several passengers described the impact as an explosion. Initially, a union leader said that the train had been working well and that there were no problems with the brakes at previous stations. Some passengers reported the same. The driver, 28-year-old Marcos Antonio Cordoba, was taken into custody but later released by the investigating judge over the objections of the prosecutor after declaring under oath, I tried to brake twice but the mechanism failed. He also activated the handbrake, which also failed. A judicial source says Cordoba told investigators at each station he advised the dispatcher by radio that he had had problems with the brakes. He reportedly said he was told to keep going. Emergency response. Several ambulances in the area on the day of the accident were awaiting a ship that had suffered an influenza B outbreak. They were used to transport victims to nearby hospitals. People with minor injuries left the accident zone on foot. According to the city's head of civil defense, the rescue was difficult because the hard and complicated structure of the carriages made the task of removing the wreckage difficult. The train driver survived the crash. He was rescued and evacuated in an ambulance. It took many people to free him from the wreckage. The test of blood alcohol content gave a negative result. Further information about his medical condition was subject to reporting restrictions as of the 23rd of February. The Sarmiento line did not resume normal operation for several hours. People demanding the reopening of the line threw bottles, sticks and chairs at federal police and soldiers guarding the crash site, though police did regain control within a few minutes. Fifty-one people, including three children, were confirmed dead. More than 700 others were injured. Reactions. Domestic. Argentine President Cristina Fernández de Kirchner declared two days of national mourning and suspended the carnal festivities. Mauricio Macri, the chief of government of the autonomous city of Buenos Aires and the governor of Buenos Aires province, Daniel Scioli, did the same. Secretary of Transport Juan Pablo Schiavi announced that the government will investigate the accident. He reported that the driver was well rested at the time of the accident and had very good labor reports. The trains and the station's black box and the security tapes were handed to the Justicia Federal de la Capital Federal. Minister Julio de Vido announced that the presidency would initiate a lawsuit against TBA, the owners of the Sarmiento line.
The Radical Civic Union proposed the impeachment of Shiavi, requesting explanations about the state of the railway lines, and pointing to previous complaints about the lack of proper state control over the working of the lines. They also urged Congress to create a commission to investigate the case and the responsibilities of the government. The Civic Coalition criticized DeVito's announcement, pointing out that the state cannot be plaintiff as it is involved in the case. The General Confederation of Labor complained about the overall poor condition of the railways, saying that an accident highlighted the problem. The Argentine Workers' Central Union requested the removal of the TBA administration of the train. International The Foreign and Commonwealth Office of the United Kingdom regretted the incident and expressed its condolences to the families of the victims and the emergency agencies that are still working to aid those in the accident. The Secretariat of Foreign Affairs of Mexico sent its condolences to the sister country of Argentina and hoped for the speedy recovery of the families and those injured. Pope Benedict XVI sent his condolences.